Good evening and a big welcome back. I haven't done a reef tank video in a while. I've done lots of drone videos, but here we are. We're trying to get two of my hobbies together. So I'm actually flying my drone to my reef tank, adding a whole new like third or fourth dimension. I'm not sure what it is, but anyway, to my channel. So uh, hello, fishies. And I think they were pretty excited to see the drone actually. And I got to tell you, I don't do a whole lot of flying the drone in the house, so it is kind of nerve-wracking trying to fly it in between that tank and the doors right across from it. But anyway, it worked out. So the uh, the drone and the tank is pretty cool. And I'm trying to think what other hobbies I can add in with this. Like what else? Like I like dirt biking, so I might have to get a dirt bike and kind of like bring it in the house, which probably nobody on my channel has actually seen before, but I have a video from like, 10 years ago or something where I did just that. I made a video with my dirt bike in my living room, all in pieces, and that was awesome. So, yeah, maybe we can do that or something. But anyway, back to the aquarium. Oh, first we're going to say hi to my cat. She didn't know what the hell the drone was, so I don't know. I couldn't quite tell if she was loving it or not. Hello, Coral. That's her name. She's cute. And she was the cutest kitten ever, so that's almost like a third hobby. Playing with my pussy is uh, pussy cat is like a hobby for me. So, um, oh, okay, bye bye, sweetheart. Anyway, back to the tank. So I haven't um, been making too many tank videos because it's not like when I had my 200 gallon. When I had my 200 gallon, there was a lot going on and a lot to see, and it was really exciting. And one day that will happen again. I will, uh, you know, I want to go like 500 gallon or more. But for now, this is just what I've got. Actually, I've got another tank in the room that I haven't even showed you guys, but I'll save that for another day. It's nothing spectacular. So um, the main thing I was going to highlight in this video was that I've been battling Aptasia. Them little sneaky bastards have gotten in here. And, you know, it starts off with a couple and you think no big deal, but eventually it becomes a big deal. And the camera doesn't pick them all up, but throughout the video, I'm going to be, I'm trying to like, show you around the tank and I didn't clean the glass those aren't scratches it's all just smudges on the glass I didn't think to clean it first so sorry about that but in the gravel there's actually aptasia all over the place and throughout the rock work so I've been using aptasia x for I don't know a couple of weeks now trying to blast them here and there um, and it's worked like I've gotten rid of quite a few but some of them are pretty resilient and I was watching a video earlier where someone had said that sometimes when you go to kill them, it actually makes them spawn off more little aptasias. So I'm wondering if that's what's happened because I couldn't see any in the gravel up until like just the other day. It was the first time I noticed. And there's probably a hundred of them in there. Uh, like I said, the camera doesn't really pick them up that well. But in person, you see them throughout that. Just the little tiny tentacles sticking up. So... Uh, I tried to get my hands on a file fish, uh, got a hold of my local reef shop out in Burlington, but unfortunately he doesn't have one for a few weeks. I know file fish will eat them, and apparently peppermint shrimp will too, but I've never had any luck with that. I've had peppermint shrimp, and I don't know, I don't, I don't think it actually worked. So if you guys have any other ideas, I'd uh, love to hear it. I know lemon juice and all that, but that's no better than the Aptasia X, right? So I was trying to th think if there was anything better to do. Sorry, I was trying to see if my goby would come out and say hi in the pistol shrimp, but they didn't want to see you guys, so I guess not next time. Um, yeah, I, I have a lot of fun sitting here looking in the tank, you know, in the day and in the evening, even with my flashlight at night when the lights are out and you see all the little crap swimming around. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a very rewarding hobby um, for anyone that hasn't had one. If you're if you're on my channel for drones, I'll tell you it's nowhere near as hard as people make it sound. Having one of these tanks, so might be something for you to consider. Go back, watch some of my other videos, or even some others. There's a lot of great people on here with great videos. So if you never thought of it, maybe check it out. You might uh, you might decide to set one up, and it's. Uh, it's a very fun hobby. By the way, I'm going to try to get those big anemones out of there, the flame bubble tips, because these clownfish don't actually care about them anyway, so I was thinking about trying to uh, get rid of them, because they're kind of pissing me off. They're taking up too much space. So that'll pretty much wrap it up. I just want to give a quick little update, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.